My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Epic number two. I'm coming to you live and direct from Charlottesville. By the time you see this, it will not be live. All right. So, apparently, we're still having racial issues about this motherfucking statue. Yes, I swore and said this motherfucking statue. You did not hear me stutter. Now, let me explain this. I don't want to be a reverse racist. I am not empowering white people with this video. I'm doing... Right and wrong in the military service. All right, because as a soldier, and for those who have not enlisted or have not served, you know, or have not attempted to serve, you gotta you gotta step back a little bit. All right, let's let's start from the beginning. In America, there was once a civil war amongst black people and white people over slavery. Now, my knowledge is incorrect or correct, depending on what part of the Civil War you've been taught through school about Abraham Lincoln. I think he might have been assassinated before or during the Civil War. I will not swear to it because it's been a long time since I've been in fucking school. Now, we had General Lee who became the president of the Southern States, which was Virginia. Now, he was a war hero to the Southern States. I don't support what he did, all right? As I am a person of color, as you can see. I am Cherokee Indian, I am black, and I am white, all right? Now, we got that, my ethnicity out of the fucking way. There are some people over here and some people over here all arguing and debating over this statue, and they want to change the name of Lee Park. Now, legally, in America, you do not have the right to change a military war hero or veterans memorial, which is that loophole that I was talking about months ago when this little girl started all this crap about this Confederate general dickhead that's in the park in a statue that's not bothering anybody. Now, I can see if the statue was alive and the girl walked past and said, Hey, nigger, stop coming through my park, nigger. What are you doing, nigger? Hey, nigger, 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 nigger. The statue, one, is it an animated object? Two, it is not in a position where it can fall and hurt someone. And three, it can't fucking talk. This is not one night at the museum where the statues of uh, Theodore Roosevelt and them all pop out and start running around with Pocahontas and them and causing all kinds of problems with dinosaurs, making one big ass clusterfuck with Genghis Khan and then popping back up on their stands the next day. This is real life. The statue does not get up. The statue does not ride through the city of Charlottesville calling black people niggers and shit. And honestly, it's not fucking hurting anyone. Now, apparently, all of us people here in Virginia that are black have forgotten that this was a fucking southern state. Well, apparently, some people in school were not teaching our kids properly that this was a fucking southern state. All right? Virginia was a slave state. There's no ifs, ands, buts. There's no way we can skip about it, and we can't undo it. You can't change history. Once history is done, it's done. Now you might go to an alternate timeline and might be able to fuck some shit up, and that would be cool. You might not. You might even be able to go to an alternate universe where you can fuck shit up, and that would be cool. However, here in reality, you can't do that. And acceptance is a part of life, as compared to a woman having her cycling time, as compared to racism never going anywhere. And you know why racism won't go anywhere? Because we can't get over dumb shit that we can't change. And then we have people who are straight up racist who don't want to change, who don't want to see people as people and see them for the content of their character and not the color of their skin, as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. died for trying to get that dream alive. Now let me ask you people who want the trash the statue to be gone. Doesn't it make you more racist? To be against a statue of a dead white man? I mean, if you think about it, yeah, he hated black people. Yeah, he put us in whips and chains. But if you're going to support Dr. Martin Luther King's dream or his vision, if you're going to support what Malcolm X and them stayed for and died for, then we didn't make you more of a racist to stand up to move a statue that hasn't done anything to you. Aren't you being just as racist as the white oppressors that the guy's hiring? I mean, you got to think this thing through. Are you not being just as racist if you're not being more racist? And to the white people that are on your side, I understand you support them, but do y'all not understand that the man was a president and a general? Do you understand that that statue 
isn't really physically capable of hurting anyone unless it falls off the pedestal? Or are all of you guys so enamored of things that don't matter instead of dealing with the shit that do matter? Like paying teachers more money, getting more cops, getting more body cams so that innocent people aren't killed by cops or so that cops aren't killed by people who just are glum fucking crazy. Things that really count, like our lives, the life of a statue in a park. Hey, I'm pissed off about this damn Sacagawea statue. I'm part of Native American and she's standing, excuse me, she's kneeling in front of two white men like she doesn't even fucking matter. But you don't hear me running up to the top of the damn statue and complaining about it. That statue was there before I was born. That statue in Lee Park was there before that girl was born. It started this big ass clusterfuck of problems here. You guys need to get over that shit. Both sides. It's a fucking statue. It is a piece of ceramic that can't do nothing to nobody. It can't speak for itself. I'm sure it's tired of looking into the Virginia Historical Museum because that's the way it's facing. I'm pretty sure that it's tired of looking at those windows day after day after motherfucking day. I'm sure it's tired of sitting on this horse. His ass has got to have some kind of saddle soreness now since he's been up there for like 70 fucking years. And you guys are complaining? If anybody should be complaining, it should be the damn statue. He can't move. He can't get off the horse and stretch his fucking legs. He's just sitting there. You know, he's got to have... Have you ever rode a horse? Have you ever heard someone who rode a horse and talk about saddle sore? Have you ever rode a moped for a long period of time and get saddle sore where you get those bruises between your crotch and your groin area? Yeah. How do you think that fucking statue feels? If anything, he probably wants to get the fuck off the horse. You know, but he didn't get designed by his own accord. Whoever designed them stuck him up on that horse and stuck that horse right smack dead there in the middle of Lee Park or in a specific area of Lee Park. Now, why is Charlottesville going crazy about the statue? It's a statue. Y'all couldn't find nothing better to do like help homeless vets get homes, like feed homeless people, like find a way to make all of us find a life worth living in this beautiful ass town. Try to find a way to stop racism. Try to find a way to combat gangs. Try to find a way to make the cops more honest. Try to find a way to stop racial profiling. Try to find a way to stop taking our driver's license for things that are not driver-related equivalent crimes. But no. My city wants to fight over a motherfucking piece of ceramic that ain't doing nothing to nobody because some little girl decided that she wanted to take this route to, to school instead of a different route. Let me tell you something. I'm not a people pleaser. I try to be a people pleaser, but the first person that you need to please is yourself. And if pleasing yourself decides to cause a motherfucking clusterfuck of pissing off everybody, then you have fucked up. Simple as that. There's always another way around things. If you don't have a safer route, then you accept the route you take and just go to the park. Or you do what I did as a child. You learn how to fight. And you learn how to fight very well. Sometimes you might have to be a little dirty in your fight, but nobody's going to bother you. If you beat enough people up, people will tend to leave you the hell alone. The statue can't defend itself. The statue can't talk for itself. The people who support the statue staying in the park have spoken. The people who don't want the statue in the park have spoken. But have y'all ever thought about the dynamics of what damage you're doing? I'll make a second part of this. Thank you.